first met him, I knew that he was, he was special and had a special gift you know, for ministering to children. The first time that I had more interaction with Jeremiah was when he came to the uh, evangelistic training uh, weekend over at Ocean City that the Hispanic ministers put together. When I really remember meeting him was probably at our interview and when we were interviewing to come here. But he taught me my position. There was a job description, but you know how those are. But he literally taught me the computer, all the things that I have to do. So I attest whatever it is that I do for this church, I give him credit because it's totally on him. At first he was kind of, I get not quiet, but you know, I guess more reserved. I think about three of his kids was just running around. And I was like, who are these adorable children? And so it's the pastor. And I'm like, okay. It was an event at Tacoma Academy called Youth Fest. And I went to Youth Fest and uh, Pastor John, I mean, <laughs> Pastor Green was leading out one of the sessions, one of the breakout sessions for, for youth leaders. I mean, I get blessed watching him tell the story and watching him relate to the, the children and the youth um, as he's ministering. He, there's no one that can tell the story better than Jeremiah and hold the attention of the children. We actually have non amateurs who have joined the Seabrook Church just because of the children's ministry programs that he has created here. Pastor Green has a patience that I, I can't comprehend. He's a husband, a father, four times over, but he's a father to so many of the youth here. I'm also with the kids, like, he can start talking and it's wonderful how they get quiet. I call him the, the kid whisperer. <laughs> he just has that touch, you know, to get them to, to focus. He keeps them all interested. He's very, very uh, down to earth. The kids love him, even when he's passing by, it's like, Pastor Green, Pastor Green. It's hard to describe him without describing his wife, um, but I think the way in which that they, as a family, as a unit, uh, that they've impacted the church is through their creativity and their energy. Well, when I, when I first came here as the senior pastor, um, uh, Pastor Green had been here for several years, and um, so he was really my go-to person. He was the person who I conferred with a lot. The person I have to thank most about my being here, my family being here, is Pastor Jeremiah Green. So, Jeremiah, thank you so much. He's been here longer than the senior pastor, longer than my husband, and he's created this culture where family's important no matter who you are, and family comes first. Pastor Green doesn't say no. If he is not able to answer the question, he's going to find the answer somewhere. He's, you know, 100% always you know, asking how the kids are or what they're up to and, you know, same thing with my husband, you know, he's always asking how my husband is. He um, often asks me, you know, what do you want to do and do you think this is the direction that the Lord is putting you? I, I posted something on Facebook and I received some flack about it and I, uh, and I reached out to him uh, to seek advice and counsel. His response to my question was out of the box and it made me think and reevaluate uh, how, uh, you know, if someone asked me advice, you know, how I could provide an out of the box answer that, uh, that it provided a solution to the problem, but it did, and it also let me know that he was a trusted resource that I could go to in the future. Creative. Friendly. Children. Tireless. Fun. Excellent. Corporate. Building. Gardening. Gardening. He's a Mr. Fix-It. Storytelling. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Building. Dancing. Sugar. Sugar. Sweet tooth. I'm thinking sweets. Base me. Cookies. 